boys and girls, and happy Sabbath. I am so excited to be here with you for another Nature Nugget. And this week's Nature Nugget is one of my personal favorite animals, and I can't wait to share it with you. So let's jump in and learn about another one of God's amazing creatures. So here are your clues. Clue number one. Sometimes they are referred to as flying penguins, even though they are not closely related to penguins at all. And clue number two, they can dive up to nearly 200 feet deep. Hmm, what could this animal be? Let's think about it. That's right, this week's nature nugget animal is all about the puffin. So puffins, you may be asking yourself, I've never heard of a puffin, but these are actually really cute birds and they do kind of look like penguins. There are three specific um, types of puffin species, all of which have similar appearances. They have black colored feathers with white and brown underbellies. The top of their heads are black and the areas around their eyes, as well as their cheeks, are white. These birds have brightly colored beaks, ranging from orange to yellow and red. They are a qu uh, quiet stock with short wings and short tails. Puffins are distinctive looking birds with charismatic colors and an adorably stocky build. These creatures are incredibly well adapted and highly interesting. These birds are truly at home in the sea. When they are not nesting on cliffs, they actually spend most of their time in the open ocean. To rest, they float on the surface of water. Though they are not closely related, penguins and puffins have very similar hunting strategies. Both birds use their wings to flap underwater, allowing them to swim efficiently. The main difference is that puffins can fly and penguins cannot. Swimming well would be redundant if you couldn't follow your prey when it dives away. So puffins can actually dive as far as 200 feet deep. To swim well underwater, these little swimmers must have short wings. Flying with such short wing wings requires a lot of flapping. In fact, to stay at aloft, these little birds must flap their wings 400 times per minute. Wow, a hummingbird, did you know they flap their wings 1,260 times per minute? The puffins live um, and spend a lot of their time in the sea. The seagoing creatures live in habitats that are clo in close proximity to the ocean. In fact, they don't even require land for most of their life. They return to land to build nests and rear chicks and choose steep cliff faces to raise their young. Some species will dig tunnels to lay their eggs in. When they aren't nesting on islands or cliffs, these birds are pelagic, and this means that they live on the top of the open ocean. Atlantic puffins are the only species that live on the east coast of the United States and the North Atlantic Ocean. They can be found in Europe, Iceland, Greenland, and Norway. They can also be found from northern Canada to the northern United States. The horned and tufted puffin species can be found in the North Pacific. Theirs ranges from Siberia, Alaska, the coast of Canada, to the coast of California. Puffins feed almost exclusively on fish. Adult birds will prey on small fish species, species but feed their chicks on a diet of fish. Rather than regurgitating food for their chicks, they are capable of carrying well over a dozen fish per trip in their beaks. Some prey species, including capelin and sand eagles, herring, and squid. When puffins are not breeding, they spend their lives alone at sea. They give up this lonely life to reproduce and congregate in huge numbers when they migrate to breeding grounds. Upon arrival at the cliffs, puffins will choose a mate with whom they will remain until their chicks are fledged. 
Once they have raised their chicks, all the birds return to the sea and their solitary lifestyle. Individual reproductive habits vary slightly based upon the species. Female puffins lay a single egg in a cliffside nest or tunnel. Both parents incubate, incubate the egg for approximately six weeks. Most chicks will learn to fly and leave the nest when they are around two months old. The puffin chicks will not be able to reproduce until they are at least three years old. Now, I am going to tell you guys 10 really cool facts about puffins. So, fun fact number one. Did you know the puffin has a nickname of sea parrots? And sometimes clowns of the sea. The Atlantic puffins have black and white feathers and are large parrot-like beak. They are, they are small seabirds measuring only about 25 centimeters in length. Fun fact number two. Puffins spend most of their lives out at sea, resting on the waves when not swimming. Their range spans the eastern coast of Canada and the United States. All right, fun fact number three. A puffin's beak can change color during the year. In the winter, the beak has a dull gray color, but when spring comes, it blooms with an outrageous orange. It's thought that the bright color helps the pu puffins find a potential mate. Fun fact number four, puffins are carnivores and they live off small fish such as herring and sea eels. Fun fact number five, puffins are fabulous flyers, flapping their wings up to 400 times a minute and speeding through the air up to 88 kilometers an hour. Now that is fast. Fun fact number six, what's more, these brilliant birds are great swimmers too. They use their web feet as a rudder, and puffins can dive down. Well, boys and girls, that wraps up another Nature Nugget. And remember, like the beautiful book Steps to Christ talks about, we can learn more about Jesus when we look in nature. From the passing clouds to the falling rain, all of it speaks to our heart and invites us to become acquainted with Jesus who made them all, including the very beautiful puffin.